All right, one of the things we haven't really talked about yet is incremental search. Incremental search. And I sort of overlooked this. I got so excited about talking about all the different methods. Uh, we forget the fact that uh, if we're going to employ a bracketing method or, or e um, even an open method, but especially a bracketing method, if we're going to employ a bracketing method, we've got to know uh, where a root is. We got to be able to bracket a root or we can't even start. So uh, incremental search is one way of doing that. So let's say um, let's say we have our function and it looks something like this. I don't know what it looks like. Alright, so it looks something like this and that's it. And what we do with incremental search is we take and we just evaluate the function. So this is our function. That is our function f of x. And this is our x-axis. x. Okay. So we just evaluate our function uh, periodically. So it's just start at some point, so wherever. So we start here. We evaluate our function. And then we move a fixed interval. We evaluate our function again. Okay, so I start here, whoop, evaluate the function. And basically all we're looking at is the sign. And so there we got a plus. We evaluate the function there, we got a minus. Move a little further, a fixed interval. Evaluate the function, we get a minus again. Move the same fixed interval. From there, we get a minus again. Again, moving along x, the fixed interval. We get a minus moving along x about the same fixed interval we get a minus moving along x again uh, maybe maybe we're gonna land here we're gonna get a minus moving along and uh, let's say we actually hit it uh, we're gonna get a plus alright so then we're gonna move along again evaluate it here that's gonna be a minus move along again evaluates here it's gonna be a minus move along again evaluates here it's gonna be a minus and let's say uh, evaluate it here, it's going to be a plus if we're lucky, right? Evaluate it here, it's going to be a minus, minus. Uh, so let's say we evaluate it here, it's a minus. And we might even miss this one, right? So let's say we, we don't evaluate it again here until it's minus. And so here again, evaluates minus, minus, uh, plus. Well, we can put it down here, it doesn't matter. Uh, all right, so we see we got a plus, minus, 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 plus, minus, 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 plus. So here we see what's going on here is we've actually located roots. So every time, every time, and this is an important concept, every time we got that root change, we've found an interval. I like this color better. Every time we get the root, the, the sign change, we found an interval. So this is going to bracket a root that interval okay we got another sign change here so that means that this is going to bracket a root and then we got another sign change going from that to negative so that means that this is a bracket that's a root bracket then we go minus to plus so from there to there that's a bracket then plus to minus again again that's going to be another bracket uh, and then I'll go minus 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 minus. See, we didn't even get that. We totally missed that root, and that can happen if your if your interval isn't small enough, and it's hard to know that it's small enough. You can totally miss a root, and then so minus minus minus, and then uh, okay. So then we got another bracket. So this is this is incremental search, and that's uh, a way of of going through and locating the brackets to use for a bracketing method or, or actually any method it's it's always good to, to guess something that's close to an actual root and it's good to have an idea of what a bracket is because then you know whether it's converged and so there you go that's incremental search